Welcome back everybody. I'm here in snowy Colorado and Blackstone has been talking a lot about cheesesteaks lately. One of the things they're talking about is getting a little creative, right? Hey, now listen. Whoa, 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 whoa. People in Philadelphia, don't get mad at me. Hey, I've been there before. I'll insert some pictures right here of me making cheesesteaks with the folks down at Jim Steaks in Philadelphia. So we love a traditional Philly cheesesteak, but we also like to get creative. And today I'm going to show you a brand new recipe. I actually made this on my personal YouTube channel about five years ago. Are you ready for this? A Reuben cheesesteak. Cast iron skillet down on the Blackstone griddle. And it's our old friend, the Kraft Cheese Whiz. Here we go. Followed by sauerkraut. Oh, that's right. Reuben cheesesteaks, baby. And Thousand Island dressing. Oh. A little essential blend because it might be a little bland on its own and I just have to have salt and pepper in everything I eat. We have some Colorado ribeyes. These were frozen solid. I put them in the microwave for 45 seconds so they're slightly pliable. And on to the meat slicer. If you don't have a meat slicer, just go to your local meat department or your butcher shop. I actually got my start on YouTube a long time ago, over a decade ago, and I did lots of wild game processing videos. So here we go. So the secret with cheesesteaks is razor thin meat. This is what you want right here. And if you don't have access to steak, a butcher shop, or your own meat slicer, you can probably do what the majority of the country outside of Philadelphia does, and they buy some type of a shaved ribeye product, a frozen cheesesteak meat. And I always recommend putting some oil down on your griddle top before you start cooking. This just helps to fill in any little nicks or scratches you might get on your griddle top and it helps to maintain that non-stick surface. Let's grab that pile of snowy ribeye. <laughs> we got the griddle on high here. Folks, by the way, we're using the 28 inch Pro Series. This is the brand new 2022 model. It's sweet. Here we go. Down with a little bit of olive oil and down with that thinly shaved ribeye, baby. Pick up my frosty cold spatulas. And I certainly recommend a mixture of garlic, salt, and pepper. Of course, it's got to be the essential blend. I live in Colorado. I don't live in Philadelphia, so I don't get access to those super cool bakeries. But what I do get access to is Sam's Club. And Sam's Club Bakery does it right. Okay, they've got these white hoagie rolls. They come in several sizes, okay? They come in these little slider sizes. They come in these little five, six inch sizes. And they even come in these monster sizes. Ah! And after a small amount of struggle, you always want to get an unsliced bakery fresh roll for this, friends. You don't want to use enriched hot dog buns or anything crazy like that. Open it up like this and go straight down like this. The heat from the meat will allow that bun to steam. It's been about a minute. My roll is super steamed. It's perfect. I'm gonna set it aside. That beautiful Reuben cheesesteak sauce mixture. Look at this, straight down. 
Then we're gonna go back down with that roll like this. And I'm gonna use a two spatula technique <laughs> on this. We're gonna try to tip this thing over. Yeah, something like that. And put that meat straight down in that bun. Take a look at that. Do you believe I did this, by the way? A Reuben cheesesteak? Come on! Again, Philadelphia, don't get mad at me. I love it. I love what you do out there. For crying out loud, you invented the cheesesteak. But you can do this. You can make your own version of it. And that's what I did today. You notice I didn't say Philadelphia cheesesteak today. <laughs> And I'm not an expert with weights, but uh, <laughs> this thing weighs... Let's give it a try. And if you want information on all the different types of cheesesteaks, you can throw down on your Blackstone griddle go out to blackstoneproducts.com because there you can link to our Instagram, our TikTok. I'm personally not on TikTok. You can go to Facebook, YouTube, all that stuff. Make sure you're watching all of our shows. Nate's show, CJ show, Betty show, uh, Destination Delicious, and of course our friend Bruce Mitchell on the Bayou. And until next time, everybody, <laughs> this is time. I'm saying praise the Lord. They pass the Reuben cheesesteak.